Uh, hi everyone. In this short video, I will explain you how to use selector in CFC programming environment. Uh, as the first step, we need to know what the selector is. You can find it here in the toolbox under CFC as selector. So, and you can uh, insert it into your program by just dragging on and dropping it to the programming environment here. As you can see, it it has one input and it has by default two outputs here. So the functionality of the selector is is that it separates different fields of a structure variable which is provided as its input. In order to examine it, here I will uh, introduce a new variable of type structure by right, right clicking on the application, selecting add object and then selecting DUT or data unit type, I will call it my structure, the new variable, and the type of the structure, the, the type for the new data unit type is by default structure. I will keep it like that and then add it to my project. Here we need to determine the fields for the structure. You maybe you you are already familiar with this, but I will uh, redo it here. So I will consider four fields for the structure variable, the integer variable, real variable, boolean variable, and string variable, or the four fields for my structure variable. And then I, I call them str int of type integer, default value of 10, str real of type real, the default value I set to 3.2. CR boolean of type boolean with the default value of true. And CR string of type string is the default value of just call it CFC underline selector. Okay, so here I, I'm missing one equality sign. So in this way, we have uh, declared and determined the, the fields of the my structure variable. And here in the main uh, programs variable declaration area we create a variable wherein the type of the variable is assigned to my structure. So now for this uh, selector element we need to determine which uh, kind of structure should it be used for because we may have more than one structure variable in our project yeah? here we have only one but in general we may have more than one so my structure could be defined here the variable that we have uh, just created and now if I finalize assigning this selector to that uh, structure variable you can see that the outputs are here yeah the diff diff different fields of the my structure variable as I already have determined as str int, str real, str boolean and str string. All of them are accessible here. Now we just need to pro provide the input for for the selector and then we can grab the outputs. To provide the input to the uh, selector element we need to use one input element connected to the input of the selector by just wiring it and then here I will use the where in variable and to get the values of the output uh, or different fields of uh, this variable I can use just one or more output elements connect them to the output of the selector variable selector element as you can see here uh, 
and then I, I need to determine some uh, so to declare some variables uh, here I will call this where out int as the integer variable and you can see that by default integer type is selected for that this one I will call it where out real and by default real type is selected because the, the signal here is of type real and for this one I will call where out bool boolean type is selected by default and where out string and string type is selected by default because the signal here is of type string so now if I since we are in the simulation mode I can just log in and run it and if I yeah, run it so by default you can see that the outputs uh, of the selector are zero zero false and nothing uh, so if I run it you can see that the values which we have in the where in as the integer value of 10 real value of 3.2 uh, boolean value of true and CFC selector as the string value string field for the structure they are now separated here at the output of the selector element and we have access to each one of them here so keep in mind that we, we can have access to each one of the variables of the structure by using the dot notation or selecting directly the, the field of the structure but this selector uh, element of the CFC may be useful in some situations yeah? you have a, a function which receives a variable of type integer which could be a field of a structure and then by using this selector you can just select one of the, the specific field of that structure and then feed it uh, to the function that that requires it so this this is a quite simple example we don't do anything special here but just we we are separating different fields of the structure variable using my structure using my structure uh, <laughs> type of the variable which is assigned to the selector so it receives one input and it provides four outputs which are the fields of the structure all right so yeah i think that's all for this video obviously you can try to change the values here for example yeah i can try to set to change the value of the uh, boolean field for the structure and then you can see here that it changes okay that's obvious so again that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it and have learned how to use the selector element and element of the cfc so if you think that this would be useful for someone else don't hesitate to share the video uh, thanks again and see you next